Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about different data connectors that are there in Excel. In our today's session, we will be discussing about Power Query Editor. So guys, Power Query Editor is a tool that Excel has borrowed from Power BI. It is very useful when it comes to data cleaning and data pre-processing. So if you want to load data from a folder, from a file, from a web page, from a CSV or an Excel file or even from a PDF file, you can uh, load the data into Power Query Editor, clean it, pre-process it and then you can load it again back to Excel so that you can create dashboard or if you want to forecast the data or if you want to do the budgeting of the data, you can do all of that with the help of Power Query Editor. How we will be using Power Query Editor, let's understand that. For that, first of all, I'll just open a new file. So whenever you start with a new project, just make sure that you start with a blank workbook. So I have a blank workbook over here for the data set. Now the data set that I'm going to use over here uh, is on this link, which I have provided in description. It's a link to the data sets and data sets. We have pizza sales. If you open it, you have four files over here. Let's wait for it to load. If I open this, it has four files. Meanwhile, let's do one thing that I'll go to the folders. I'll go to my desktop and here I'll create a new folder, which would be based on pizza sales. And I will be downloading each of these files in this folder. So uh, let's click on this file. I'll wait for it to load. And here I'll click on download. So I'll download this one. Let's choose the location that on our desktop, we have created a pizza sales file. In this, I'm downloading it and save as order details. It's a CSV file. Downloaded this one. Let's go to orders. Let's download this one as well to the very same location. Okay, we have orders now. Pizza types. Let's download it from here and save it. Lastly, we have pizza.csv. Let's download it again and save it in the very same folder. Okay, we have all these files. Now let's come back to Excel. You do not have to open those files directly in a blank workbook because we are starting a project here. Start from a blank workbook. Go to the data tab. In your data tab, you have get data option instead of choosing from Excel workbook because if I use Excel or CSV workbook, I will have to choose all the files one by one. Because I have data in a folder, I'll choose a folder here. Which folder is it? On my desktop, there is a pizza sales folder. I'm going to open this one. As soon as I click on open, it will open all the four files, but they are in the binary format right now. Let's click on transform data. This time we are not, we are not going to click on uh, load or combine. We are going to click on transform data. Make sure you right click on the binary. If you by mistake left click on it, uh, it will open the file for you and all your other folders will be gone. In that case, to return back on the right side, we have applied steps. Just click on the cross and come back to the source. Make sure you right click on it, add as a new query, double tap on it. And these are our orders. Okay, these are our orders. Similarly, let's go to pizza sales. We have order details as well. Add as a new query, double tap over it and let's rename it as order details okay similarly let's go back over here third one is pizzas add as a new query i'll double tap over it and this one is pizzas and lastly we have pizza types add as a new query double tap over it and select all and pizza types okay so here we have four of our files first one is orders second one is order details third one is pizzas and the fourth one is pizza types okay let's go to orders first okay on the top you can see first of all let's understand the interface of power query editor here on the top we have a home button which has different features over here we can keep the rows remove the rows sort in ascending descending split the column by the basis of delimiter, number of characters, by position, by lower to uppercase, by upper to lower case, on the basis of digit and non-digit or by non-digit to digit. Okay. We can group by our data, 
we can use our first row as headers we can merge the queries append the queries merge means to join append means to concatenate okay if we go to the transform again we have some functions over here uh, it allows us to replace value suppose if you want to replace something in a whole column with something then you can use replace option we have fill option which allows us to fill the null values we have pivot column unpivot columns we again have the text functions numeric functions like statistics standard scientific functions we have trigonometric rounding and information functions if you choose date as a column you'll find a date function as well which has been highlighted if you choose time will uh, time will appear over here which will allow you to extract hours minutes seconds earliest latest all the values okay if you go to add columns again you will find some similar options like from text from number from date and time similar columns but this time it will add a new column for you see transform will transform your existing column and add column will add a new column for you okay so you can use add column where you can create custom column conditional columns index columns or you can create a duplicate of a column as well by using an add column option so this is how the interface of power query editor looks like on the right hand side we have applied steps so we have the name of the table also below that we have applied steps this is one very great thing about power query editor that everything that we will be performing over here it will be recorded everything that we are performing will be recorded over here and every changes we are applying will be recorded here we can trace back our steps if we want to undo something and if there is a new data that will be added to this particular table or this particular sheet on that data also same steps will be applied so we do not have to do it all over again if the new data has been added to our data so that useful power query editor is and in our next session we will be learning about how we can clean and pre-process our data in power query editor so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you